Why does pain exist? Why do good people suffer? These are questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries. But today, we will explore how one person's faith journey provides an extraordinary perspective on these enduring mysteries. Imagine a man named John, a man of faith, a man of strength, and a man of determination. John's life, however, was not without its trials. He experienced pain, both physical and emotional, that would bring even the strongest of us to our knees. And John was a devout Christian. He held firm to his faith, even when the world around him seemed to crumble. He believed in a loving God who would never abandon him, even in his darkest hours. And there were dark hours. John was diagnosed with a debilitating illness that caused him constant pain. But John held on to his faith, his hope in God, his church, and the teachings of Christ. As the pain increased, so did the questions. Why was this happening? John was a good man, a faithful servant of God. Yet, the pain persisted. He was discouraged, down, and weary. Yet he kept going, plodding on, never losing sight of his faith. There were times when John's faith was shaken, times when unbelief crept in, when the idea of giving up seemed like the easier option. But even in these moments, John found hope in his faith. He found comfort in his church, in the prayers of those around him, in the kindness of others. John's journey through pain was not a bed of roses, but it was a journey that taught him the depth of his faith, the strength of his spirit, and the power of hope. Through his pain, John discovered a profound truth. God is good, even when life is not. John's story is a testament to the Christian response to pain. It's a story of faith, hope, and perseverance. It's a story of finding comfort in the church, strength in prayers, and kindness in others. It's a story of believing, even when it's hard. It's a story of holding on to faith no matter what. So to summarize, the main points discussed today are, pain is a part of life, but it doesn't have to define us. Like John, we can choose to hold on to our faith, to find comfort in our church, to believe in the goodness of God, and to keep going, no matter what.